Oh, oh, oh. What the heck? Where, where am I? Hello, Scott. Do you know why I brought you here today? No, I, I, I don't know why you brought here. And, and who are you? Like, what the heck? I heard that you've been saying not scary farm is better this year, and us at Hornets don't approve of that. So John Murray has asked me to trap you in my sanctuary. Oh crap! I thought you guys would never find out about that. My bad. You know, it's just Dark Riders. It's it's pretty good. You feel? You feel? Yeah. The only way I'm gonna let you out is if you give your honest opinion on what the best mazes are at Hornets from this year. Wait. So you're telling me that if I will make an honest opinion, power rankings on like what my favorite mazes are, then I'm good to go. Ash vs. Evil Dead better not be one of yours. Those black walls are terrifying me. Shit. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Ash vs. Evil Dead with those black walls, you know. Wow, like, can it have been more disappointed at Horn Eyes? You feel Jigsaw? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows the Saw Maze at HG Chan is the best. That better be your number one. Now go, go make that video, or else I'll keep you here forever. I mean, that's also a little debatable too, but all right, all right, chill, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'll go make it right now. I'll, I'll go make it right now. No, I'll be free, all right? Also subscribe to get news because you gave me this idea. So go now. What? Who, who's that? Oh, that's Clarence. That, that's my guy. All right, all right, yeah. Go, go subscribe to it. Go subscribe to DMMs if you feel it. Yeah. I'll see you later, Jigsaw. See you. Yeah, but whenever. Peace. Yo, what's going on guys? It's SoCox Farm back with another video and since I'm being held against my will to make this video, I'm just, you know, whatever. It's, it's whatever. You know, Jigsaw told me to make this, so uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna make this or else I'm gonna die. Yeah. So, with, in all seriousness, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit in the beginning. Um, stay tuned to the end. There'll be a surprise thing at the end. If you just spoiler alert. But I'm gonna go through my um, top rated mazes and uh, top favorite mazes from least favorite to most favorite, I know I did a review already, but this is something that I'm going to um, be doing like number eight, number seven, all, all that bullshit. Um, but we're not including Walking Dead in this at all because that's just a permanent attraction. Like why, why even, why, why even include that in there when it's complete garbage? Anyways, so anyways, with that being said, there are eight. Yeah, no, eight. Yeah, eight including the Terror Champ. So. Number eight is gonna go half is gonna have to go to Ash vs Evil Dead. Um, there are so many black walls in there. I just didn't like it. Um, uh, just, black walls aren't my thing. Everyone says like, oh, um, I, and I'm gonna move up here just to get closer to the camera. Everyone says like, oh, transition. Those are transition scenes and all that. No, it wasn't scary. The maze was fun and all in general, but it wasn't scary at all. And I think that's one thing that I looked for in that maze was to be scary, not freaking black walls everywhere. But whatever, nonetheless, it was good. And yeah, number seven for me has to be American Horror Story. I walked in this maze thinking there was going to be a lot more, even though it was my number eight at um, my pre-power rankings. But American Horror Story, just there's a lot of uh, unfinished sets in there, which I didn't like. And I, I would like to see the sets a lot better in that maze and I would have liked to see the scares a lot better. Nonetheless, seeing a pig was really cool, but you know, I was just expecting a little bit more and that, that, that's about it for American Horror Story. Number six, Titans of Terror Tram. Now, this was very disappointing this year. The whole concept was great. I love Leatherface, uh, that, that area was great, but the whole maze in general was complete garbage and um, not, not maze, tram, and I'm not hating on the event or anything. I'm just saying like, it wasn't that great. Um, and for my personal preference, I wish I would've been a lot more scared and you know, I, I wish they would've done it better. I know, I, I know I'm not an art director or anything like that, or a maze designer, I can't do any better. It's just, but I have an opinion as a guest going to the event. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys right now. Um, number five is gonna have to go to Insidious. Um, Insidious, it, it, it wasn't what I was expecting. I think that's why it's so, high up in my like lowest rated 
is because I thought there was going to be a ton of jump scares everywhere and there were at the end but there weren't in the actual maze. In the actual maze there was a lot of black walls transitioning from one scene to another which I get the concept of but I don't, I'm not a fan of it. They're just black walls are just not, they're, they're not good. Like who, who likes black walls? Don't you want to see just like the actual movie sets and see how cool it is in person, real live action? Nobody wants to see black walls. So that's going to be up to my number five. Number four, um, which I was debating on putting on a little earlier, but then I, I, I decided, you know what, like, um, let me just put it here because that'd be a, a great idea. Uh, and I, I really like the concept of this maze, which is a Blum house. Um, the whole purge beginning scare zone is, is great. The whole, like, gauntlet thing in the beginning is really great. They definitely amped it up besides from last year's gauntlet and has made it in more of a maze, which is really cool. I really enjoyed that. The Happy Death Day, it really, I, I just really like it because of seeing the movie and seeing how cool the movie was. So I really like seeing the sets in there and the baby face, which was really cool. Now, Sinister was a very weak, Sinister, it just, it, once again, unfinished sets. And that's all I can say about Sinister, it's just unfinished sets. And I did not like that at all. Um, but that, that's that's about it for for Sinister. Now, number three is going to go out to, gonna, uh, number three is going to have to go to Saul games of jigsaw now this maze was just a fun maze to go through you're not going in for scares or anything like that you're going in to have fun and it included all the traps from all the movies and the new traps from the new movie coming out which is really cool and i really enjoyed myself in that maze i had fun i laughed and i, I just i love the soul series so what can i say about that number two is gonna go out to titans of terror this was a hard decision to put this at number two because i absolutely love this maze and the concept of this maze is fabulous. The scares in that maze are fabulous. The sets in the maze are fabulous. There are barely any black walls except for transitioning from Leatherface to Freddy to Jason. But other than that, the maze is so good. Um, and it, you're gonna go in there and love it because the whole concept of it is just is just great. And number one, like everyone's number one, I think this year is The Shining. The Shining they did really good with, unlike they did with Exorcist last year. The Shining came out really good this year, and I love the way they do it. Some people are hating on it for some reason, but I love this maze. This maze was great. I love seeing Jack. I, I love seeing all the classic scenes from the movie. What can I say? It was such a great maze, and I, I wish I could go through it again. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going back to Hornets again, but that maze was just all in all great. Um, and yeah, I, I think I'm free now. Make sure to make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go outside and, and see what happens. See if I can just walk away. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Finally get to go home. Hello, Scott. Girl, what do you want now? I see that Saul Games of Jigsaw wasn't your number one base for this year. Are you kidding me, bro? I put it in the top three. Is that not good enough? No, it's not good enough. It should be number one. Saul Games of Jigsaw is the best base at Halloween Hornet ever. You know what, Jigsaw, you're, you're just a hard person to work with, you know? This is exactly why some of your movies are crap. This is exactly why I'm trapping here forever. Whatever, bro. I'll just stay here. I got I got a house. I got, I got clothes. I got, I got I got a room right here. You know, it's basically my house, low-key, but... Fine. I'll just go tell John Murdy right now and ban you from the event. Alright, cool. You go ahead and tell Murdy. I'm just, you know, gonna chill here. I'm gonna go to Scary Farm because Scary Farm's dope. And, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on exploring parts. Peace.